Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to resolve if Java C is not recognized as an internal or external command on your Windows computer. So I imagine this could definitely be a frustrating issue. And in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve this without too much of a hassle. And we're going to go ahead and jump straight into it. And we're going to start off by opening up the star menu, type in File Explorer. Best results should come back with File Explorer listed directly above App. So go ahead and just left click on that. Select this PC on the left side and then double click on your local disk where Windows is installed on. There should be a little Windows icon up with the hard drive. So go ahead and double click on it. Do the same thing for the Program Files folder. And then double click on the Java folder as well. And now finally you want to go ahead and just double click on the JRE folder. So just double click on that. And now that we are in this folder here, you want to go double click on bin. Now up at the top address bar here, you want to just left click inside of the end. So just go over to the far right side of the bar, left click in at one time. And now right click on this highlighted text here, this file path, and then select copy. And now you want to go ahead and minimize out of here. I'm going to go open up the start menu, type in control panel. Best results should come back with control panel listed right above app. So go ahead and left click on that. Set your view by to large icons and then select system from this list. Select advanced system settings on the left side and then select environment variables. Now you want to go select path down here at the bottom and go ahead and select edit. Select new and now we're going to go paste in our path that we copied before. Just right click inside of here and then select paste to paste it in. Once you have it in here you want to go select OK. And now you want to go select new up at the top. So select this new up here. And now into here you want to go ahead and type in the variable name path. P-A-T-H. And we're also going to paste in the variable value that we pasted into the other spot before. That's just the path that we had before that we copied from the file explorer window. And we're going to right click inside of here and select paste. Once you've done that you want to go ahead and select OK. And now that you have done that, there should be a new entry in here. It says path, followed by the path up there. Go ahead and select OK. Select OK again to close out of there. Close out of here. And now open up the start menu. Type in CMD. Best results should come back with command prompt. Right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. Now you want to go type in Java, so J-A-V-A. -A. I mean, everybody here should know what Java is. I mean, honestly, if you're on this tutorial. And now you want to just type in Java and then space minus sign version. Then hit enter on your keyboard. So there you go, guys. You can see we have it on our computer. You can see what version number it is as well. So pretty straightforward process. Do a buzz able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.